Thank you so much. Well, our next guest is no stranger to the Trinity Broadcasting family. He's the founder and presiding bishop of the Family Church International, which consists of 14 churches, two in Africa. He planted three family churches, the Jesus Foundation family, the Church of Adelanto, and Jesus Saves Family Church in, in Las Vegas, and the Family Church in Duarte, California. He's a martial arts grandmaster, 10th degree black belt, so don't mess with him, please. Please, I really, I don't want to see that. <laughs> It would be painful to watch. He got into three Karate Hall of Fame, but God got into him. Please welcome Bishop Donnie Williams. Can we just take a stand? Everybody stay with me for a All moment. Right. Just stay with me for a moment. Yes, Amen. I just thank God for his presence here Amen. tonight. Was Pastor Hahn a blessing or what? My God. And I do want to take the time to thank Clifton for his work that he's doing here tonight. You are anointed. And I want to thank God for Paul and Jan and those that are present here tonight. And I heard that uh, uh, Victory Outreach is in the house. Yeah. Amen. What a blessing. So I, I want to just have a quick word of prayer. Father, we do thank and praise you for the privilege that you've given us to talk to your people. Father, use me for your glory. Use me, Father God, that you will get the glory out of everything that is said. And we recognize that it's you that give us the power to do all that we do. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Those in agreement say? Amen. Amen. Now, before you sit down, I want you to say this. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. neighbor. God needs, God needs. Your, mouth your mouth and your ear. And your ear. Oh, go ahead and have a seat in Jesus' name. Amen. God need your mouth and your ear. Most of us don't realize that God want our mouth to be for his glory. Did you know that's why the Bible said that we will speak in a new tongue? Because he changed our mouth. And some of you may not know this, but the Bible said this, that God work six days. Yeah, Y'all didn't hear that. God work six days. But God never told us to remember his work. He never asked us to remember the work that he did. But he said, I worked six days, but now I'm going to do something I want you to remember. And that is he want, to want us to remember his rest. Oh, y'all missed that. You see, he said, remember the Sabbath and keep it what? So that means God wants you to work, but he also wants you to what? Rest. Now, y'all got to make sure you tell my wife that before it's all over now. <laughs> but now, now, what happened is this. God is looking for a mouthpiece. Some of us think that God is looking for some clothes, somebody wear some clothes. No, no, no. He's looking for a mouthpiece because he got some ears that need to hear your mouth. So, so what happened is this. Now, let's look at some of the work that God did. In Genesis chapter 1, the Bible made it very clear in verse 3 that God said. Somebody say, God said. God said. Then in Genesis chapter 2, I mean chapter 4, it says, and God called. Somebody say, God called. God called. Now, if God said it, he called it. Yeah. Now, watch what happened. After he called what he said, Verse 5 said, and God saw it. Oh. Let me, let me can, you, can you help me a little bit? You see, what happened is God said he made us in his image. So if he made us in his image, he want us to say something. He want us to call some things into our life. Then he want us to see what we call. 
once you begin to see what you call, then you're acting like God. Do you want to act like God? Now watch what happened. The Bible made it very clear to us in Romans chapter 4, verse 17. It says that even God, because as it is written, even God calleth those things which be not as though they are. One of the problems that we have as Christians is we don't call our children saved. Oh, watch me. We call our children sometime out of the tree. Get out of that tree before you break your neck. We call our children, what are you doing? You better get here before I. What about calling those kids that have a joint in their hand, call them a preacher. Call them a preacher. Stop calling some of the kids that's in jail. Instead of calling them jailbirds, call them missionaries. Let's call them missionaries. And if we we'll start calling those kids what we see that they can be, then God can start. Watch what I'm going wait, 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 Hold on. The Bible says this. It says, told Peter in chapter 16 of Matthew, he said this, and I love this. He said, Peter, I see who you are. I, I, I see you that you're a rock, or well, a stone or pebble, and depending on how you want to interpret it. And he said, I see who you are, but he said, now I'm going to give you the keys of the kingdom. I'm not giving you the keys to the kingdom. Y'all missed it. He said, I'm going to give you the keys of the kingdom. So that you can do on the earth what I know need to be done in heaven. This is what he said. He said, whatsoever you bind is bound. Now watch what I'm going to say to you. That's why it's important in my life, I have to call some things into my life. You see, one time I was not, as the lady said, and I love what she said uh, earlier, you know, because y'all look at me now and I'm all fine and everything. See, I, I wasn't this way. I was over, I, I, I was really overweight. But I told my church, I said, I want y'all, I'm going to do something for you. I want y'all to see me because I made a commitment and I want my word to stand. So I said, I'm going to lose one pound every year. <laughs> and praise God, I've kept my word. <laughs> But I had to call it into existence. So when I said I lose one, I felt good because I lost three. The next year I lost five. And you keep on. So what I'm trying to say to you, you need to start calling some things into your church. Instead of complaining about what's happening in church, you call some things into it. God need, God need a mouth but not a mouth to complain, but a mouth to give him praise, for a mouth to give him glory. He need a mouth where everybody can come on one accord. And he said, you can call something. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm, I know my time going to go by. If, I don't, if I'm not careful, I'm telling you, I just love TBN. I got, oh, 33 million people to talk to, and I'm like, oh, good Lord, let me finish this. <laughs> let me, I better talk to some people in Florida. You, to those that are in Florida and at the Holy Land experience, you might as well prepare my room because me and Pastor Horn, we on our way to the Holy Land experience. So, so Jan, so Jan, you might as well call Pastor Horn and Bishop Williams because we're going to be catching a flight and come to the Holy Land to praise God with you. Now, now what happened? This is what happened. I had to put that in the air. Now, don't y'all get mad at the brother. Don't get mad. I put it in there. Sometimes you have to put some things in the air. Even though you don't have the money to pay your bills, you got to tell the devil, I'm going to pay those bills. You may not have money, but you got to say, I'm rich. You may not be healed, but you got to say, I'm healed. Put it in the air. So what happened? Now, wait. So God, this is what I love about God. God had one job, and his job was just to talk. I believe my wife is practicing to be God. 
no, 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 no. What I mean is she allowed me to talk. Oh, I see your faith. I see your faith. So God, so, so God, he, I love what he did. God never gave us a conversation. God never gave us a sentence. What God gave us was a word. If you read your Bible, it says, in the beginning was the word. Not words. Word. But what happened was our ears was not open to receive that word. Because he said we couldn't even receive it. It came to us and we couldn't receive it. So God decided, you know what? Since they can't hear, maybe they can see. So he said in verse 14, and the word became So God said, if you can't hear, let me put the word into you right here. Take a look at this word. And then he let his word just walk around. So, 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 so watch this. And so the devil saw the word walking. Y'all missed it. The word was walking, and the devil saw the word. So the devil said, hey, come here. I want to show you all of this. I can give all this to you. But the word didn't try to rewrite the Bible. The word said, it is See, God already got it written. He just need a mouth to say it. If some of you will stop, you know, we got too many undercover Christians. You know, on your job, they don't even know you're saved because you're working for the Lord. God need you to open your mouth. mouth. And he said that he'll put a word in your mouth, mouth that when you don't even have to think about it, Amen. that you can speak. Now watch what I'm going to say. So the devil saw me say, I'll give you all of this. I'll give it to you. You want it? You can have it. But the word, the word didn't say, well, let me think about it. Let me see if I can figure out what I can do with it. But the word said, now watch this, to the devil. Listen at what the word said to the devil. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord. The word said, I'm not going to go and tell you I'm Jesus. I'm going all the way to the top. I am even your God and you. Should not tempt me. Now wait a minute. So now, now, now watch what's happening. Watch what's happening. The word had. To, I believe the word was black. Cause the word had a little swag to it. All right. All my Latino brothers, I know the word was brown. But what happened? Now watch what happened. So after God, and this is what happened in church. See, even now, I, I, even now, some of you are so uncomfortable in church right now. You, 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 you feel like if you laugh, something's going to break. <laughs> Listen, I want you to get stronger because some of you are too weak. Watch what it says. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is... So do you want to be strong in the Lord? Yes. So put a smile on your face then. All right. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Look at you. Say neighbor. neighbor. Talk to your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Put, a put a smile on your face. On your face. All right. That's all right. Now. So, so now watch, watch what happened. 
So God gave us a word. And that word that he gave us, he wrote it in a book. And when he wrote that word in a book, the ones that read it, see, because God is obedient to his own word. Because he said, write the vision where? Down. Make it what? Right. So they that Read can. Ah, right. oh, I love that. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> but God, this is what God want. God want a mouth that is not going to get tired when everything go bad for it. God need a mouth at TBN. You know, as young as I am, I was raised up on this sentence. Let everything do what? Now, if TBN have raised us up on that word, that means we really need to get our mouth in action. So it's time for us. Come on, let somebody praise the Lord. I want to just tell you a, a little short uh, uh, adventure that the Lord blessed me with. Because when God bless you, you need to tell somebody. Amen. You know, um, and, 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 and we forget sometimes that our testimony is an opportunity for us to let somebody know that we're overcomers. Amen. See, the Bible says you overcome by the blood and the word. So sometimes you have to tell somebody something. You see, y'all may not know it, but in my lifetime, at one time, I was the world's karate champion. And being the world's karate champion, that was a change in my life. I, before that, I was the biggest racist in town. I would t go to the Frosty Freeze at the corner of Huntington and California. And I would get some rocks. And when a white person come up to the stoplight, I would throw rocks at the car and run. Until my brother would say, no, you ain't running. You're going to stand there. And I said, no, 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 because I don't want them to, I don't want to go to jail. So I grew up as a little boy hating white people. Hating. I didn't hate white people because they were mean. I didn't hate white people because they did something to me. I hated white people because they were white. God had to do something inside of me. And I knew in my heart that I was doing the right thing when I was doing what I was doing. But then, God sent me to Vietnam. While I was in Vietnam, they attacked a hill called Hill 57. And we was, I was a hospital corpsman with the, with the 3rd Marine Detachment, and we was on our way up the hill, and we got ambushed. And it's the first time I was caught up in an actual war in Da Nang, Vietnam, at Hill 57. And so I got so paranoid and so caught up in the bullets flying I start running. All of a sudden, I got grabbed and pulled down into a hole. And this Marine pulled me in the hole, lift me up. And he said, before he said that, let me say this. My mother was a missionary. And she said, son, I'm going to pray for you that God will protect you. I remember saying to my mom, I really want your prayers, mom but I would rather have that machine gun or that 45. 
This is a young man running, got pulled down into this bunker. I got lifted up and pulled back down. He lifted me up again. He said, are you Lissy's son? I said, yes. He said, boy, I'm your uncle. I haven't seen that uncle in 15 years, but God sent him to Vietnam to save my life. And I said, since that day, I've been running and telling people about Jesus, and I want you to become a voice for Jesus. Tell your story. Let somebody know God delivered you. Let somebody know that God saved you. Don't be no undercover Christian. Give God all your praise. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Donnie Williams.